Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Ghost of a Tale, where Silas has been arrested for the death of the jailer, which makes me wonder, what ev like, was he the killer? Was there evidence to back that up? Either way, he is in our jail cell. Let us talk to him. Tillo, what are you doing here? What are you doing in my cell? You want it back, I'd be happy to trade places with you. You didn't tell me how cold it gets down here at night. The jailer is dead. I've been found guilty of his murder. The commander has sentenced me to hang. They're building gallows in the courtyard. How's it coming together? They're making good progress. <laughs> It'll be a fine coronation for the son of the coward king. Uh, so what evidence have they against you? They say they have a witness, and that it was my dagger found stuck in his back. I was also in his debt from too many games of chance. It was motive enough for the commander. The night the jailer disappeared, where were you? In my cot, far as I remember, with my scaps and a bottle for company. Silas, did you kill the jailer? No, I, I mean, I, I... I don't remember. What do you think? Silas, I know you didn't do it. That's very trusting of you. I appreciate that. Uh, Silas, I was the one who found the jailer's body. Ha! <laughs> of course you were. Strange how my, my problems always seem to start with you. Uh, Silas, I'm going to get you out of here. Just go on, Tillo. Forget about me. Perhaps this is something I deserve. No, you know you don't. I spoke with the magpie, Silas. I know how to find Mara. Oh, that's wonderful, Tillo. I'm so happy for you. I Truly, I am. Perhaps at least your tale sports a happy ending. Gather your things, Silas. It's time to go. You think getting out of here is going to be that simple? Would you rather hit a, I hit a key under some bread? You cheeky scrunt. Let's say you do get me out of this cell. Then what? Are we just going to stroll out through the main gate? If you're innocent, then I'll prove it, I swear. The commander is stubborn, Tillo. He'll not see reason. The jailer himself could rise from the grave to accuse his murderer, and the commander would still have me hanged. It seems the noose is the only way out for me. There's a boat down on the shore. Meet me there. Come with me. You place the cell key on the bunk beside your friend. You don't remember when we first met, do you? Atop the watchtower, of course. That wasn't the first time. You know the start of it better than I do. A checkpoint on the turn road at night. Turn. I met Mara in Hamel, not far from there. Tillo, please, just listen. A checkpoint on the turn road. Two mice without proper papers, and a sick pup in their handcart. Dying of a spider's bite, for the want of a physician's care at the mine a few miles on. Bryn, my son. I was the sergeant on duty that night. What happened, it was my fault, Tillo. But then it was you who took Bryn to onto the physician. You tried to save him. Aye, once I knew what was happening. But the road was so dark and the snow so heavy, I lost my way. What happened to you after that? We didn't see you again. The garrison commander had put me in the stockade for the night, for deserting my post. I didn't know what had happened to your son until the next day. Why were you arrested? You were trying to help. There was a tribunal held. I was demoted. What? Would they have rather you did nothing? Tillo, the night Bryn died, I was soused. Soused? I should have been with the guards, but I was sleeping it off in the gatehouse. Why are you telling me this? So you understand the sort of rat I am. I wanted you to know before you decide what to do next. Besides, haven't there been enough secrets? Silas, it's alright. 
You open your mouth to speak, but the words won't come. I know. Go, Tilla, do what you must. Find Mera, find what happiness you can. Hmm. Well, so long. Um, I guess I've got a uh, frog to talk to. Gah, put that light away. Are you trying to blind me? All right, all right. Mousy, did you hear it? Did you hear that tamed racket? It's been going on for days, on and off. There, no. There, that damned whistling. Do you hear it? Is it there? Gah, I can't tell anymore. Now listen, I need you to go and strangle whatever scrunt's responsible for it. Uh, the whistling, I, I took care of it. All right, well, good. Now, Mousy, what are you doing back here? Um, they're building gallows in the courtyard, so there's going to be a hanging a. Well, it's no strangling, but I'll take what I can get. Perhaps they'll hang you. Hang me? Har, by what? You need a neck to be hanged. Please, I need a plot, a course for Periclave. Periclave? I was told a frog might know the way. Only one, Mousy. Only one. But I swore a blood oath as a pirate to never speak of it again. We was three days out of Skarn when the Lake Witch was attacked for no reason at all by the Marsh Herald. Which we'd robbed a few weeks earlier. <laughs> no reason at all. Zero reason. The Marsh Herald. Aye, she was the flagship of the Red Paws fleet, and the finest vessel to ever come out of Baladon. Oh, she was Yar. Twas a battle for the ages. We took heavy damage, but the lake was too afraid of the captain to dare sink us. Outgunned, but not outwitted, we sought refuge in the cloak of Paraclay. But with our main sail in tatters and our rudder smashed, we was easy prey for the serpent. I feel like a lot of dialogue for Tillo in this game is basically like, um, like Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid, where people would tell him a whole bunch of stuff, and then he would repeat just like a couple words. And then they would tell him even more stuff, and then he'd repeat a couple words. Like, that's how you end up getting the line, Metal Gear. Uh, the serpent? Aye, the serpent, the whip, the mother's tail, currents, mousy, currents, and the waters of the lake. The whip'll take a ship clear from one side of the cloak to the other. Mother's tail always see you home, but the serpent will. Get caught by the serpent and you'll be crushed. With the wheel as his weapon, the captain fought the serpent and won. The lake witch gave the serpent the slip and found a hidden current that took us away, deeper into the gray of the cloak. We was lost in that gray for days, it seemed, and then we saw it, a black tower rising from the lake like a spear piercing its heart, and beneath it, the island of Paraclive. We thought it our salvation, but was only a horror we found. Oh, such horror. And that's all I've got to say about that. I've no love for ye, Mousy, but I beg you, leave Paraclive be. It was never meant to be found. That island is cursed, and all who set foot there damned. Then I'll find my own way to Paraclave. Har, good luck. The captain's the only other living soul that knows the way, and even he would need my charts. I'd give them to the captain himself and none other. So unless you're Captain Powder Keg of the Lake Witch, and I can see you're not, I suggest you forget all about the Isle of Paraclay. Where's your captain now? Right through there in the cell next door. What a character, talking to him's the only thing that's kept me sane. I should go, farewell. Don't let the door snap on your tail. If only I could find Captain Powder Keg to help me out. Uh... Oh my goodness, look, it's Captain Powder Keg. Captain, you've returned. We need to talk about Paraclave. Oh, hi, there's some mouse skulking around asking about the charts for Paraclave. Is that so? What did you tell him? Not a word. You made me swear an oath to never speak about that island. Oh, he's a sly one, but I was ready for him. I didn't even mention the chest buried down on the bone shore, where the shadow of the crow's nest falls at five? And even if I did, I still have the key. 
still, I should take a look, make sure all is well there. Carol's eyes fill with tears. Captain, promise me you mean to destroy it this time. The frog spits out a silver key. It twists lazily dent into your open paw, suspended on a gossamer thread of spittle. Paraclay was never meant to be found. So, on the bone shore, something something five. Where the shadow of the crow's nest falls at five. Alright, now I just have to get to the bone shore. Also, now that I think about it, should I talk to Gustav and Fatal? Tell them what's going on? Like, they were saying how uh, they were worried... I think they were saying how they were worried about getting off of this island. Um... Due to the Jailer. So I probably should see how they're doing, because it's been a little while since I've spoken to the both of them. Tillo, who, look who's here. I told you he'd make it. Tillo, we were ready to leave without you. They're planning on hanging some scrunt in the yard, and it's not going to be us. Like our dad said, when they start building gallows, it's time to go. Should have taken his own advice. I'm... I'm not going with you. I know where Mara is. But but we waited for you. You're sure? Once we're gone, there's no going back. Aye, I'm sure. Good. You'd only slow us down. Farewell, Mouse. I hope you know what's, what you're doing. The two mice put on their packs and slip away. Oh. Huh. Hmm. And then we also need to show off our sweet king outfit to the blacksmith. Because he did request to see it in full. So let us sneak over here so we can change our costume. Well, don't you look fine. If the mice are ever in need of a king, they could do worse than ask you. The gallows, what's going on? The Jailer's been found murdered at the bottom of the well. The Signal Rat, your friend Silas, they say he's responsible. They took him a few nights ago. Reckon he'll swing for it. What evidence do they have? Enough to hang him. Um, Silas to be, is to be hanged when? Before the next blood moon. He's being held down in the jail. Alright, was there something else? No. Let's take a look at the body of the, uh, Jailer. See if there's something that we can't... Uh, discover ourselves. The answer is no. Alright. On to the Bone Shore. Or should I talk to the commander? Let's talk to the commander once more. Maybe the commander will tell us who presented the evidence. Because if I had to guess, it's a gambler. Because the gambler, that's like, there's only so many named characters left. So you've been promoted to sergeant now, Scout. I'm not surprised. You always seem like the sword who would dance to the commander's tune. I need to speak with the commander. I hope you have good news from him. He's not in the best mood right now. So basically the reward I got for being promoted is uh, insulted for kissing ass. Got it. Yes, Scout, what is it? All right, nothing. Uh, I guess let's talk to the gambler once more, and if he has nothing, then I guess we're just going to go to the boat on the bone shore.
All right, got anything for me? They say you've been promoted, Scow. Ha, <laughs> better you than me. How about a round of high-low seven? Blah, blah, blah. Eh, never mind. You've got nothing. And also, you have no replacement cook. Oh, hold on. I can actually get people to tell me their names now. That's an interesting use of my position. All right. Can I get the commander's guard to tell me who he is? Uh, how about you? They say you've been made sergeant. I suppose congratulations are in order. Never mind. I can't get everybody to tell them in, me they're me. Okay. Um, on to the shore. Alright, so it's on the bone shore in the shadow of the crow's nest, which makes me think it's going to be close to the boats. More brisance. Is there something I'm going to need to blow up? Hmm. Huh. And how will I correctly identify that which needs blowing up. Maybe it's buried. Like, there's the boat. There's the crow's nest. Can I look at what time it is at any given point in time in this game? Hmm. And then also, does the crow's nest cast a shadow? Alright, so in theory, it is five o'clock. But then again, like, time moves relatively fast. And... Everything is very far apart. Never mind, it's right behind here. Okay, let's grab one of these brissons and slowly make our way over. All right, now that we've done that, let us blow it up.
And that did not work. Okay, apparently that's not the place, and according to the internet, it might actually be to the left and past this tree. Which I would imagine, also that rhymed, which I would imagine they wanted to keep this in walking distance because they wouldn't have expected you to do the really, really dumb thing uh, that I did in order to bring the bomb up the stairs. I'm low on bottles and sticks. Oh, there it is. You're in a bit of a hole, lovely. Oma Rezia, what are you doing here? Claiming what's mine. How did you find me? It wasn't hard, you make enough noise to wake the dead. Move away from the chest now. Why? The cook pulls a kitchen knife from her apron and wipes the blade across her sleeve. So I can keep my knife clean. You step aside, taking a few paces back. And don't try anything with that bottle. You've done well, lovely. You've been looking for Captain Powderkeg's treasure for years. We? You mean you and Faustus? Oh, Volker, love, to think all this time you were right. I'm only sorry you were not here to see it. I do miss him. We were a good pair. But I think this is fair compensation for his sacrifice. Did you kill the Jailer? Me? Oh, love, of course not. We had a good thing going, me and him. But he made a lot of enemies, the way he carried on. Stealing from the Condemned, looting from the Catacombs, gambling, and all the while searching for the Captain's treasure. He came close to finding it before he died, though not as close as you, of course. The treasure is yours. I just need the charts. Oh, love, what am I going to do with you? Can I not just make a copy of the chart for Paraclave? Oh, love, wouldn't that make a fine tale? The minstrel escapes for Paraclave to find his love. But every tale has to end somewhere, you know that. Yours ends here, in this hole. I heard you gave my name to the commander. That wasn't very nice. You've ruined everything I spent years building here. Uh, you're not very nice. Is a very childhood insult that I could probably say. How did you know of the treasure? The frog in the jail, Carol does it, he would talk in his sleep. The guards overheard the frog, and Volker overheard the guards. The lake witch found Paraclave and returned laden down with treasure. They say the treasure is why she wrecked. How so? She was running too heavy, her keel too deep, you can imagine the rest. But no trace of any treasure was ever found. So I paid Carol to visit. Aye, he told me. He said you were a good mouse. Filthy stuff. Stinking imbecile. He claimed his captain was alive too, but his body's still there, chained up in his cell. I should go. Farewell? Going? Oh, I don't think so, Scrunt. The cook takes an emerald from the pirate's chest. If it's any consolation, your death will make your old Alma very, very... She screams, her eyes sinking into their orbits as fur and flesh unravel from crumbling bone. In an instant, Omarezia is gone, to an awful dirge more felt than heard. The crystal begins to pulse with a sickly green light, and then... Um... Hmm. Um... Oh no. This is... This is bad. Can I... Good mouse, my lady dead have risen. Aye, I can feel it. The green flame has awakened. What must I do? Once the emerald fire has been lit, cannot easily be extinguished. Alone you can do nothing. Muster your comrades and trust it is not too late. Only the living can help you now. Okay. Um. Well. It seems I've got a skeleton of work to ahead of me. Oh, my, is that what they had captured from Paraclave? The curse. They had brought the curse with them. Oh no. 
The dead rise from their graves. Oh, and is that kind of like light and the lack of stamina just meant to represent, like, Tillo's own fear of the skeletons? Either way, the Bone Shore has definitely become a desolate place. Um, we're gonna need to talk to Carold. Uh... Silas, the commander. Are there other characters? The magpie, maybe? Uh, for now, we just need to get out. Uh, because we are surrounded by enemies. And I suppose that's, that's one thing that was definitely set up very well. Like, every time you go to the Bone Shore, you see all these skeletons. And they don't necessarily seem to have that much of a purpose. And it's all just kind of set for this particular scene for you to run back through. For now, though, I think I'm going to go find a spot to save my game. Got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have yourselves a good night.